I've solved it. I have solved the problem of how to organize sample pairs. I mean, it, it, was, it, was, it was becoming a bit of a problem. As you can see here, including sample-based instruments, I have nearly 800 gigabytes, which is quite a lot. But it's okay because I was reading a book, this book here, and I now know how to organize it. So I'll show you with Ableton, but this applies equally to every DAW. Now, chances are you may have seen Search before. You simply choose the folder where you think the sample might be. So in, in my case, it could be a hard drive or a different hard drive. And then you go to Search, type something in, maybe vocal, and then hopefully you see packs containing all packs and or samples containing the word vocal. Easy enough. But this is imperfect, which I'm sure you found if you've ever say you tried it yourself. So for example, I have typed in vocal. If I go to one of my, probably, probably my, probably my favorite vocal sample pack, this Echo by Holly Drummond, uh, Drum, Drum, Drummond sample pack, uh, you can see it's got some samples from it, these vocal chops and these vocal swells subfolder, but these aren't all the samples. Echoes by Holly Drummond. Notice when I get rid of the vocal search. Echoes by Holly Drummond. Look, all of these. So you can see there are loads of other subfolders of vocals, like these ones, these ones, and these ones. So, so just by typing in vocals, it didn't actually show me all of the vocals. But oh, spaghetti, oh, but I can fix this. So. What I need to do, in fact, there's two ways to potentially fix this. Approach number one, find, or well, in fact, you don't, 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 don't just find, go through all your sample packs, go through all your sample packs and add in search terms to the folder name. For example, Echoes by Holly Drummond. I can then rename that to Echoes by Holly Drummond and then maybe do a bit of an underscore and then do vocal and female. It's a female vocal. And now, maybe you need to give it a minute or two for Ableton to index Echoes by Holly Drummond, vocal female, is now part of the folder name. And therefore, vocal Echoes by Holly Drummond, vocal female. Yes. It's now got all the samples from the pack because vocal is in the folder name. And so all the samples within that folder now appear when you type in vocal into the search. So that's really good. Exciting. So then type in vocal female. You can now see female dubstep vocals by Mr. Will Rankin, AKA High Rankin of Rankin Audio. Uh, so you can see Echoes by Holly Drummond. And so it's it, magic, magic, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but there's, there's, there's even more to this. This obviously works great for entire packs, but what about files within a pack? Yes, you could say rename subfolders. So maybe there's a Foley subfolder that you want to rename Foley. That's totally cool. But what if, I mean, in the, I mean, there's, there's a few situations. What if you want to rename a whole bunch of files? Let's use Fanu. Fanu, one of my favorite obscure sample packs, this one by Fanu. Fanu, Fanu, look at this, look at this, look at this. Let's, uh, let's get rid of the flak as well. How mad is that? Let's delete all these able ones. Uh, let's make it more clean for the eyes. Perfect, so a whole bunch of bits and bobs here. What I could do as a bit of a secondary option is batch rename some of the files. So I could, I've forgotten the name of it. Rename it, Re rename it? Yeah, yeah. So yes, so I've, I've got this little, little bit of software thing called rename it. I'm sure other softwares exist too. Then what you do is you drag in the files you want to rename. Now it could be the entire pack, but then if it's the entire, the entire folder, it could be the entire folder, but then why wouldn't you just add the search name into the folder name? So let's say I want to just, we'll go for the breaks. We'll go for the breaks. Uh, so we'll go to the, the break, all of them. Yeah, cool. So let's say I want to rename all these breaks, but of course it would take ages if I had to do it one by one. Ain't nobody got time for that. What people do got time for is batch renaming. So do a drag, drag it in, do a bit of that. And then I need to allow access just like that. And then what I could do is basically not replace text, but insert some text. What about, should we do it at the beginning, at the end, at the beginning, at the end? We would do it at the beginning. Insert text, I mean, there's a few options here. We'll do insert text, zero characters from the beginning. So we can type in something like DMB because this would be a great starting point for making a drum and bass, a drum and bass drum break, a drum loop, T and B, 
because I'm, 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 I might be searching for, D and B. And you could, of course, do other ones too. You could type in loop or, I mean, these aren't loops. These are breaks, breaks that you can then chop up and make into loops. But you could uh, maybe, maybe do drums as well. I mean, I mean this, is, this is, of course, personal preference. Maybe, oh, real. So D and B, real or drum. I don't know. You can just you can type in anything. Type in some appropriate words and then hit rename all. Give it a second, give it, and look at that. Wowzers, trousers, and look, and, and, I mean, just, just, just take a look at that. So it's now renamed. And so what I could then do is go back to Ableton. So I could, I could type in a D and B for drum and a bass. And you can now see, look at that. It worked. And so all we need to do is go through your sample packs and just add in some words every now and then. Genre, sound type other things. You want to include words that fits in with the way that you personally view your samples. Maybe you view your samples in terms of kicks and foley and pads and one shots and so on. Or maybe you view your samples in terms of genre or the person that made it or all of these things. And so add in search terms that make sense for you. Don't do like 20 different search terms. That's probably not helpful. Just pick one to four words that you would personally type in when you're trying to make a song and you're looking for something. As I say, or as I maybe haven't said yet, I can't quite remember. I have been reading a book all about computer science and one of the top, the, the chapters was on organization, sorting things. And this is the, the best way to do it. it. It just is from a, a scientific computer science perspective, mathematical algorithm sort of vibe. This is the best way to do it. Tag your folders and file names appropriately and use search. My name has been Multiplier and I will catch you guys. On the flippity dizzy flippity flip. Oh, I bumped into the micro. Oh, is that how, how, all dizzy and I bumped into the mic. Jazz hands. Always, always jazz hands. Really dizzy. Always jazz hand with caution.